Live from the studio of his parents' basement, the Have You Seen It podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across from me is the one and only Cash Kraus. But before we begin, if you guys can please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. So with that said, Cash, what are we reviewing today? Well, today, Mason, of course, it's a TV Tuesday. We are continuing to do Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, Episode 4, titled... The Great Wave. The Great Wave. The Great Wave, Mason. And it's a, it's a long episode. An hour and 11 minutes for this bad Yeah, a little boy. bit longer. Uh, about 10 minutes longer. I ain't mad about it. No. Ain't mad. We're getting full hours, and I'm yeah. uh, pretty happy about it. A lot happens in this episode, though. We go, we get back to the dwarves, too. I'm getting a little excited, but I just love when we get the dwarf shit. So do I. That's what we really needed, and that's what I felt <laughs> was really missing in, uh, you know, yeah, in uh, episode, episode three. three. So I'm glad to see that we are back uh, with Elrond and, uh, you know, the dwarves. Durin, yeah. yeah Durin. Durin doing great shit. Well, maybe digging a little deep, which is... Uh, what dwarves are known to do, and it it's the it's folly of the dwarves. It's a red flag, and the father is insistent on not getting too greedy. I thought his digging. dad was dead in this episode. Yeah, no, he's still alive. He's still kicking. <laughs> he comes to talk to him, and his dad frozen like a statue. I thought, this man ain't moving. There's just him up. kicks up. I mean, I mean, it comes a lot, but he is gray and withered. It's only they're a matter of time. propping him up like those early days of photos when their children would die, and they'd prop him up to get one last photo with them. Oh, yeah. Dark. Or when a dictator dies. <laughs> they don't want the country to fall apart, so they they take pictures with doctors and shit. Like, look, he's fine. He's fine. Like, just arms, everything. Uh, just hanging yeah, there. always wearing sunglasses though. Yeah. Dead a little suspicious. Away. A little suspicious. Ever since weekend at Bernie's, people think you can go sunglasses. No one's gonna notice. No one. Always check the eyes. You have to check those Make eyes. Make sure they're not glassed over or glossed over. Yeah, or gray, or gray, gray and yeah, gross. That's a big giveaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Mason, uh, I liked it. We only have four more episodes after this one. Of course, this one is called the Great Wave, and that is referring to the Great Wave. Spoiler alert: takes out Numenor. Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, uh, not really a spoiler alert because she's seeing a lot of it. Yeah. She's seen a tragic vision that we we open up with of her and a bunch of babies, of course. Right, of course. It's always that way. Baby's closest window to the ocean or mm -hmm. where they keep these babies. You know, not very wise, <laughs> yeah, I would say, but Muriel looks into, uh, what are those things called? A palantir? Palantir. Yeah. And there are, it's not clear on what they do in any of like the texts or anything, but a lot of them do different things, mm -hmm. but they are, you can speak telepathically with them. Pretty much uh, the first cell phone. Mm -hmm. Really. But it can tell you visions of... Uh, yeah, for sure. It can tell you vision. And this thing, heavy for a cell phone. Do you're lugging that thing around. Oh. It is the most inconvenient thing to lug around. <laughs> let me make it's a, a bowling ball. Let me make a call. And he got a dick out here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it, it, and also it can tell you the future sometimes. You remember you... They're in the original trilogies, uh, Pippin sees one, and yep. then uh, Sour Mon gets real handsy with one of them. He really does. And he's looking at all kinds. He may all be looking, kinds of wild he may things. peeping in on yeah. some people. You know, maybe that's why he went a little Old mad. creepy wizard. He, is, he was creepy. He was May he rest creepy. in peace. <laughs> The Sarah Mon and the <laughs> actor. <laughs> Christopher Lee, yes. not creepy, though. Let's right. make that clear. No, Christopher Lee, a tremendous actor, uh, also was in Star Wars yeah. as the great Count Dooku. Of so. course. Uh, and as far as I know, not very creepy and did not creep on a lot of people. Mm. As far as I'm aware, well, he, was, he was a pretty good guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, but yes. Always uh, a positive. So Numenor, they're, they're very worried because everyone knows about them making these big, big mistakes. <laughs> Of letting an elf in, and then a big wave comes. Everyone knows that the wave's going to come eventually. Yep. Uh, we get more of Isidore, which he gets kicked out of the... I don't know what it's called. It's basically the Navy, right? Mm -hmm. he, not only does he get kicked out... He got his whole friends kicked out. All yeah. the crew. So they're pretty, they're pretty uh, understandably not upset. have backfired worse. <laughs> he went in there thinking he wanted to get kicked out. Which is fine. You don't get kicked out. Yeah, of course. Don't take three of your fucking friends with Who you. Who really guy. want to be a sailor? <laughs> Who More want to be in the navy? Yeah. Well, not only that, you get kicked out of the navy. It's game over. It's a death sentence. Uh, especially your family in this na world. family name ruined. Yeah. 
So you're exiled essentially. So is is Isildur? He's not happy. He just wants to go west, but now he's like, well, I can't do anything. I can't even get a boat to go west because everyone fucking hates me. But yeah, uh, that's a lot. We we give the Numenors uh, orcs, of course. Oh, we got to talk about Adar, Adar. Of course. Well, we don't get a lot of them Um, in this one, right? I'm not convinced. (laughs) <laughs> that, not, he's, yeah. that he's Sauron? That he's Sauron. I'm not convinced. Well, he... Uh, I think he's a an elite... I think he's a... Um, a like a like an evil like disciple of his, yeah. but I don't believe that he's Sauron. Really? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, that, that might not be. Uh, we'll see eventually. It's, just, it's weird because I know what eventually happens because... Uh, but I don't know for sure if that's him because eventually Sauron does get caught on purpose in Numenor, take him in, and they, like, rehabilitate him. Mm-hmm. And eventually they start letting him walk around, like, anywhere he wants to go. Oh, well, that's nice. Of <laughs> it's really <laughs> on. And he ends up making a big wave. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, ends up well, killing everybody. Yeah. But you're right. I, I don't know yet. I mean, he that guy is obviously someone very powerful. They called him. They call him Lord Father, the orcs do. Mm-hmm. But uh, last time we saw, he let uh, old, what's his name? Alan Deer. He let Alander go. Which, to uh, give them a message, the men a message, but we don't know what that message is. It's very no. vague. And he also gave him back his weapons and everything. So, <laughs> which comes Dude, very I much into handy He was going to end up killing them. And that is probably my biggest fault of this episode, yeah. is that whole part did not. I love them chasing through the woods, the orcs. Orcs mm-hmm. look very scary. Yeah. And I orcs the, are still the best part of this show. Oh my god, they look so great. As far as aesthetically. Yeah. And I loved, uh, I loved them really searching the town too. Because you mm-hmm. know they're that town that the Southlanders left is, is gone now. But I was, the whole time, I'm like, kid, just stay in the well. Things are going well. No pun intended. <laughs> but You can't mean, stay in a well forever, though. But, I mean, a day or two, they're not going to keep just lifting up the same rocks. I mean, but they I are mean, orcs. Ev- eventually, but... though, someone's going to come to the well and get a drink. It almost happened once. Yeah, I did. And you then, just keep going under. And then you can't run. <laughs> it's like two feet down. Eventually, they're going to send one orc in, and he's just going to start slashing you. <laughs> you will. Yeah, that'll and be that And that is cornering yourself to a whole nother level. That's to put true. yourself in a well. Yeah, there's no way. Of, like, there's no way you're getting out of that situation. It's brutal. He had to get out, but that kid, man, this whole story is pretty much the story of how kids fuck everything up. I mean, they're just going out doing their own thing, causing a lot of problems. Yeah. Uh, Gladio, she's going out doing her own thing, causing problems. The kid that goes to get the hilt, or he goes and give, I guess he goes and gets like flower at first. Yeah, the, right? ha- the half elf kid. Yeah. But uh, but he takes the Which, hilt. I that is uh, Alan Deere's kid, obviously. That's what that we're, we're that's getting. That's what we're at. getting real yeah. vibes. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's his kid. But this kid hates big racist. This kid though, he is one of the most fortunate, one of the most racist <laughs> towards the. Because even when Aldor comes to help him, he's like, he's like, oh god, this guy. I'd rather <laughs> almost die. Honestly, the orc slicing my arm off <laughs> just seemed a little better. Yeah. But that whole scene, I I like that. I did not like him grabbing the arrow. Is out this of the, the air. story of Adolf Hitler <laughs> I don't coming know. to terms that he's a Jew? It <laughs> and could he be. Has no idea. It absolutely yeah. could be. Yeah. Could be. Well, I, I mean, I'm getting for sure Adolf vibes from this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he dude. looks very young and, and very he's got, angry. He's got Sauron's like well, crazy, he's a, and he's blade. on a mark now too. Yeah. Because a really cool part, pretty much they get away because the sunlight. My God, this sunlight's powerful. It is. It it is these orcs have not it adapted. It is hurting the orcs. Yeah. I mean. And they're screaming and howling. Yeah. And, and that that's maybe, again, my bigger fault is that has been like a big crutch for like every time you want the good guys to get away. <laughs> sunlight. Sunlight. It's always sunrise. It's always vampiric. It's always you know? sunrise. Yeah. Like what? I mean, he could have definitely found that kid at three a.m. He in, most certainly could have. Six hours, and you could have had yeah some serious track. They would have been slaughtered. Down. Yeah, but yeah, always the sunrise. The the orcs can't. They they need. They really need this hilt, but I think they really need the fucking the pound here as well. Mm. I don't. Uh, but I don't know what this hilt is doing. They're acting like it's a big key to getting you know the south land and getting Mordor up and running, yeah. but we don't know. But the last thing we see is the orcs telling Ardar that they found it, mm-hmm. which kind of half truth. Kind of a half truth. You're gonna get and that a is lot what of you trouble. do if you're gonna tell your boss. <laughs> if you're very scared of your boss, yeah, you'd be like, boss. Good news. <laughs> uh, I have some less 
then good news. Yeah, uh, we'll tell only you tell him the good news. Yeah, only tell him the good news, and then uh, and then hopefully by the time he gets up to the point, someone right. else is telling him the bad news. Yeah, because that'll be the sacrificial lamb for sure. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening. But the, oh no, he does tell him. He says it's at the tower. So I think we're going to have a big battle yes. at the tower. But they don't tell him that they got away. <laughs> <laughs> That's something they do. They don't, don't even tower. mention there was a hunt. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they don't they go, hunt? What hunt? No. I, this is intel. It was literally the, this just is we knew it was at the tower. <laughs> That's all it yeah. was. I swear it. Yeah. No. I swear fire. No hunt. No casualties. It's a Russian kind of situation. <laughs> it's like. They got to lie to Putin. But hey, you not know what you got to do? A single guy do. died. No, seriously. Single... We are doing great. Seriously, we're Better winning. than we thought. We're winning the war. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's all us. <laughs> the war is, is on the, yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, so I think the next one will maybe be a battle because they got to kill the Southlanders. But it's a really cool scene at the very end with the kid and the old guy who is, we get a little more of why the Southlanders are all about that Sauron shit. Yeah. They uh they really want, but it's it's like they hate the elves so much that they're gonna team up with anyone at this point. But the guy he even calls him father or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like or the master or something, and he tells the kid that he's coming back. And he and this is the guy I'm pretty sure that owned the farm that the kid stole the sword from. Oh, absolutely, it was. <laughs> yeah. Little bitch, too. I know. Because he's like, why don't you have a drink? Yeah. You steal that like you steal fucking everything <laughs> yeah, else. Yeah, That sword was pretty valuable to me. <laughs> and uh, you kind of just took it from me. And I know exactly who you are and what you're doing. <laughs> I know. And I'm telling everyone. everyone. Only thing we didn't get in this one was we didn't get any hobbits. But we got a lot no. of dwarves. That, that scene where they're singing. Because... Mm-hmm. They're 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 digging deep in this vein. Oh, they and are. a big collapse. It's almost like you know the seven dwarfs. I yeah, know for sure. I they're know. digging deep. It's and soft to work we go. <laughs> if the seven dwarfs were in a tragic mind collapse, mind collapse yeah. And then which it's, I thought I oh, always no, thought oh, no. I always thought Snow White needed a, <laughs> a big, big mind mining collapse. collapse. I think it would have been more fitting because <laughs> yeah. that story the the roots of that story is real dark. <laughs> It's really the dark. next hour is just them just, <laughs> just, just trying, trying to, to get. But it's a rescue mission. They're crowded together. They're losing oh, air. Quick. Dopey's crying. He doesn't understand because he's not all there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> My friend. <laughs> he thinks everyone's <laughs> taking long naps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, they're dirt naps, kid. <laughs> We ain't getting out of here. They're never coming back. But yeah, they, they are mining very deep because they are also want to get to a very uh, mithril, which is the stone, and they kind of find it. They keep it secret. They do. But a lot of dwarves got to lose their lives for this, unfortunately. Well, that's the sacrifice one must make. Yeah, but there's a cool scene where they're in this hall and Duran's wife is singing mm-hmm. to like she's singing to the rock or whatever yep. to, to release them. Uh, releases a couple of them. And I love Duran. I love this suspense. He comes in, he goes... We removed the last dwarf. Yeah. Alive. Alive. <laughs> I thought for sure they were going to be pissed at Elrond. Yeah. Because he was thought. the one who went down there and kind of stirred up. But some the wife there. actually says, I couldn't help to think what would have happened had you had not gone down exactly. there yeah. and got Durin out. So, uh, you know, he's, were, he's in uh, Elrond's on uh, the wife's good grace. Well, not only that, but they've been lying to Elrond this entire time and he found out this episode. So yeah. it's an awkward situation. It is a little awkward, but, you know, 20 years is 20 years. But yeah, they don't even mind. They're like, yeah, you know, uh, you had to lie. You got to do whatever you want. Of course, Elrond's in a tough place. So he's like, sure, you lied to me. That's cool. <laughs> but it I'm it literally in your house right now. Yeah, so do whatever I mean, you want. Yeah. But uh, Durin, uh, yeah, very, very dirty, disheveled, goes up to the king, and uh, it's, you know, it's the fucking dwarves. They don't trust anyone. No, they do But not. Durin has been invited to Linden to kind of see what's going on. He wants to know more about why they're building. Already building the smith, by the way, because mm-hmm. they, they peek out the window, and it's like, but he's got no clue what they're building it for. No. No, no idea. idea at all. Well, Durin eventually ends up telling Elrond, too. The little secret. Because they finally make amends and you finally trust them after all this time. Yes. And the last thing is King Duron, uh, which is Duron's father. It's getting confusing now because they're all named Duron. But King Duron and Prince Duron. And they look identical. I think played by (laughs) the exact same actor. But uh, his last thing is is surprisingly so telling him to go to Linden, which Mm -hmm. obviously not a thing dwarves do. They don't leave very often. They've closed themselves out for a long time. The last thing was like, go in there, figure it out. 
what's going on. And obviously, he's going to find out that the goal is to make a bunch of cool rings mm-hmm. that are totally safe. A hundred percent. Nothing bad's going to happen. He's me. our tested, my you friend. You know what's great about it? If something bad does happen, all you got to do is just throw it in the lava pit. That's it. Not any lava pit. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, very specific it, lava. It is a specific <laughs> lava. Uh, it's the hottest lava. <laughs> you won't get hottest, hotter lava <laughs> no. than, in, than in Mordor. It's the best in the hottest. It's tremendous it's lava. the Mordorian <laughs> lava. Okay. You won't find hotter lava anywhere else in the world. Yeah, uh, but that's pretty much it. You know, we don't yeah. know what's going on right now. There's a battle coming. There's something's coming. We haven't gotten to the Hobbit. Yeah, we just don't know what. I think we needed a breather. We we did. That. It was good to. <laughs> it was good to you know separate ourselves from the Harfoots for a little while. Uh, I yeah. couldn't think much more of them abandoning each I, other. They're I, bad, bad, <laughs> they're bad people. people. They're they bad really people. are. I mean, if anyone should be uh, discriminated, <laughs> yeah, it should be those darn Harfoots. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, true, it's a tough world in Middle Earth right now. Yeah, Things aren't as great as, as they could be. It's true. But early times for sure. We don't know where we're getting into next. Uh, Glad you on our way back to Middle Earth. Yep. She did get a boat finally. Mm-hmm. Big thing though, right? When she left, like stepped foot off the dock. White leaves start falling. Yeah, That's course. another omen. It is. Of course. And then the queen's like, you know what? I'm going to take her. I'm going to take her. <laughs> like, she got some spunk. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to, uh, it's like, maybe I'll do this now. Now she's a little convinced. I mean, how many fucking bad omens do you have to see until you get, listen to the elf? Apparently a few. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, but they're hiding this the king away like he's a son. well that's that was kind of the thing with <coughs> me is you know Galadriel breaks in breaks a window oh yeah and then she's upset that oh you knew I'd be here you just broke and entered are you <laughs> what? Uh, you're mad I'm here <laughs> what you literally trespassed and then broke our beautiful yeah. window uh, if anything I should be the one upset here but they find the king and the king is. Uh, I mean, he's not doing very well. Obviously, he's been trapped in this room for who knows how long. Uh, probably 10 years. But basically, they can't let him out because he will be mauled, mauled by an angry crowd. He most certainly will be. For liking an elf. But yeah, pretty much they say is, is they got to follow, like, they got to do good or this is this island's going to be sunk into the fucking... Everyone knows it. It's kind of a weird... A weird thing. It's a weird thing that everyone on this island knows someday this island's going to go down. Unless we do everything right. I would be getting off the island. As would I. Why are we? Why do we have to be here? Doesn't make a lot There's of a sense. A whole continent but... of empty. You could find a Harefoot clan, wipe those suckers out, take their <laughs> land. Yeah, it would be easy peasy. <laughs> you know, they abandon their own anyway. Yeah, oh, they deserve it. You wouldn't. Even, as you... soon as you charge, they're all scattering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're dropping children. Oh, they're, they're, sacrificing children. Breaking children's legs, knowing they won't be able to run farther. Right. Kill that. Harefoot's very I'm gonna smart. be I'm gonna be fifty yards that. Harefoots are like rats. <laughs> they are they will gnaw off a leg. They yep. will do whatever it takes to keep the clan. And then going. joke around about it later on. Then make a great song. We'll about be how... waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. No, All right. won't. No, we won't. No, you're gonna die. We're so gone. We're gone. So gone. Not only that, we constantly go in a different direction every time. We do. No one will be able to find you us. Intentionally, because if you do <laughs> fall behind, survival of the fittest. They were really Darwinists. Okay. Oh, my God. True Darwinists. Evolution, baby. Yes. They, they, they really believed in it. <laughs> <laughs> Passionately. All right. Well, the next episode, we don't, of course, never know the title, but we no. only have four Eppies left, Mason. Yes, this we do. Be over. It's yeah, crazy, isn't halfway it? Halfway there. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that is our uh, review for episode four, The Great Wave. This is the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. If you guys like what you've seen here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause, and until next time. Bye.